Hey guys, welcome to episode 16. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about some basic grooming, uh, what kind of tools you're going to use and what to expect uh, with this luxurious Borzoi coat. Um, first of all, you're going to want to use a pin brush. I love this one because it's got this dual function thing. Not really sure about this side. I think it just feels good more than anything, which is, that's great. Um, but you don't want to use a wire slicker. That's one of those harsh brushes that kind of dig out the undercoat. You're going to want to just stick with a with regular old pin brush. So luckily, Borzois really like to be brushed. And you're only going to have to do this probably, I would say, twice a week. Maybe a little more during shedding season. Um, as you know, Borzois tend to shed significantly twice a year um, the changing of the seasons also they said there'd be some differences between if a uh, female is not fixed their hormonal cycle you can get some more uh, shedding so typically they say that the males are a little bit more consistent in their shedding I have found however you need to brush them I do once every other day you, you'll be surprised how much fur you get off um, What's the most amazing thing is their fur is incredible. Um, you know, it's hair. It's not that sticky fur. It's easy to get off of stuff. They do shed like crazy. Um, but what's really great about it is they stay remarkably clean. I think you'll find when you get a Borzoi, if you meet a Borzoi, they could be running and it'd be packed in mud. And then in two hours, they just run and shake it off. And somehow it's just a miracle. Like um, Esther's brother, Vlad, loves to lay in disgusting pond muck. And again, he'll get out, he'll run around, and within a couple hours, he's back to normal. So grooming a borzoi is extremely easy. I mean, you never have to clip them. They kind of have their natural hair length. It's just beautiful. Um, I would say, you know, as... As I've said before in other videos, they're extremely sensitive skin. Warzoys can feel touch very, like, I mean, they're extremely sensitive. It makes them very vocal too and very sensitive to any sort of harsh treatment or hurt or injuries of any kind. Um, but that said, the sensitivity extends to the type of shampoos and stuff that you're going to be using when you do bath time. So make sure you get stuff without any harsh chemicals. Um, we tend to use all holistic stuff. Actually, Dr. Bronner's, um, Esper's has really sensitive skin. So we've been using Dr. Bronner's soap with her for a little while. And it's been, it seems to be really good. It keeps her, her fur really soft. I'm going to struggle to make this a long video because the maintenance on Borzoi grooming is extremely easy. Aside from the shedding, um, there's, really, there's really not much to it. Got to remember is take the collar off. You can brush against the grain in some of the areas that are a thicker, a thicker bit of the coat. Um, your borzoi, as you can see, is also going to start loving its brushing. Uh, you'll also notice that they're very aware of what they look like. It's the cutest thing. After Esper's been brushed or after we got her her new collar, she was prancing around like she's, because she is so beautiful. Uh, the puppy, you know, it's interesting. The puppy still has her puppy fur, so we haven't even had to brush her. It's just been changing so rapidly. Once she gets her luxurious long fur, then we'll uh, we'll make sure to do a video about uh, taking care of that one too. If you guys have any specific questions about grooming, let me know. Uh, I knew this was going to be an easy video, but I wanted to make sure we highlighted some of the the really awesome benefits of having this type of dog. Yes, you were so cute. Um, so keep it coming. I'm still working on the diet video. Um, a lot of people, we've been changing Asper's diet and Aura's diet. Well, Aura's diet stayed remarkably the same because she's a puppy and she's growing and she's on her puppy food. But we changed Asper's diet a little bit and we've had some great results. So I want to go over what my research has been with you guys in the next video. So thank you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Let me get to done with brushing.